This is the new Lotus Amira, and we're about to drive it on road and then on track. Let's go. So it's damp out here, and obviously this is my first go. We've only got the car for a few minutes, so what are my initial thoughts? I've put it into sport mode. You also have a tour mode, but do you know what? It rides lovely, and the engine is still quite quiet. There's a tiny bit of supercharger whine. Let's drop it down a gear. That gearbox is fantastic. Foot down. Really smooth delivery, and then it just picks up and builds and builds and builds. Wow, it really builds. Really builds. It just wants to rev out this motor, but then it's got lovely low down grunt with that supercharger. This is, you might know, a 3.5 litre V6. Supercharged with a six speed manual gearbox. They will do a four cylinder and they will do an automatic gearbox, which we will time on track at Rockingham this spring or summer when we can get a car. But for now, this is the sole version of the car you can drive. And it's probably the enthusiast preference. I mean, definitely compared to the auto and almost certainly compared to the four cylinder. Having this V6 engine and that noise. It's the heel and toe downshifts as well that are just so enjoyable. The pedals are set perfectly. I've got hydraulic power steering, so it's not electric like most cars now. So I've got actual steering feel. I know what's happening through the front axle because my hands are communicating with it directly. And then this throttle response, this gearbox being so close and tight as well. Everything is so tactile. But yet the car rides really well. It's under one and a half tons. I mean, this is heavy for a Lotus, but it's light for a modern day car, especially one with genuine creature comforts. Woo! Starts to move around a bit. Rear wheel drive, mid-engined of course, but really beautifully balanced. I mean, you feel cocooned in the car, really low down. You feel like you're wrapped in the chassis and that gives you immense confidence. It's absolutely lovely to just thread it along a road. It's just all about communication and being part of this car. And I mean, that's what Lotuses should be about. But let's see what it's like through a couple of these bends. Let's load it up a bit. It's a bit damp out here. <laughs> this motor, it's not very loud, but you get the whine and you get that silky tone. I love this corner. Oh, a bit of a slide. <laughs> what a fantastic handling machine. It's just so balanced. You can just play with the balance, but also it feels so incredibly on top of the car. I feel like I'm sat in the middle of it, literally, not just figuratively, not just in the sense that I'm within the car, but also like I feel like the actual chassis rotates around me, which is exactly what you want in a sports car, especially a rear drive one, because you need to know when you're getting on that throttle, when you're getting on the power, that as the car rotates, you're gonna be able to just nail those inputs to correct it right away. And I mean, that bend round there was greasy and slippery, but I just instinctively corrected what was a very small, but very enjoyable bit of movement in the chassis. Throttle response is really, really good still, but at 1500 odd revs, the thrust isn't too tricky to manage actually. It's not jerky, you know, sometimes you get in cars, especially turbocharged stuff, and when the revs drop, you fall out of the power band and then you hit the power band, and yeah, nowadays stuff's not like it was in the 80s where you had an on-off switch, but you still get a bit of a boost, you feel, and it can be hard to be smooth. This is just so naturally smooth, the supercharger, the way the power is provided with that strapped onto that V6. Well, it's just so easy to understand where you're at at all times. And it matches the revs of the engine and the sound from over your shoulder perfectly. Steering's really nice as well. Even at low speed, there's so much feel. I mean, it's mostly vibration at low speed, but you do feel quite a lot of detail through the road. That engine, that engine. Oh. That gearbox as well. I'm sold. You could do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles in this car. And then you find yourself on a twisty bit like this and you would love it. All right, next we're gonna go out on track. All right, wow, that's it. We've driven it on road and on track and it did not disappoint. It was spectacular on the road, even in the greasy conditions, rode beautifully. And also that engine is so responsive. It means it can be a GT, a Grand Tourer, or of course, a very thrilling sports car. But also on track, it felt like a proper Lotus. When you load it up and that steering feel and that brake pedal feel, oh, and that six speed manual gearbox, all fantastic. When I drive electric cars, I love them, but oh, I'm gonna miss this stuff when we can't use it anymore. Hope you liked the video. If you did, click the thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel because guess what? We're gonna get one of these in DCT four cylinder form on track at Rockingham very soon. See you there.